Hey YouTube, Puffy Wire Chicken here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Star Wars Mafex Kylo Ren action figure from Metacom. First, I'm just going to show you the box, and then go over the accessories, and then get into the actual figure review itself. So, here's the box with the front with a nice uh, window for viewing. There's the side. Check out the back. The other side, top just says Star Wars with a little bit of the viewage of the window. And there's the bottom. So anyways, I'm just going to open this and get on into the accessories. So, getting into the accessories, he comes with the Mafex stand. And that just consists of this base with three spots to plug in the stand. It plugs in right there. It can bend and twist right there. Bends at the middle, goes pretty far around, but also at the top. This part is an attachment. It just slides into there. Well, a little tight, which is good. So, it slides into there. It can also twist like this. And these open and close to grasp the figure so that you can pose them in cool ways. Before I get into any more, I just want to say that I got this on camarts.biz. There's a link in the description, and there will also be one at the end of the video. You can check that out. They have authentic figures for pretty good prices. Uh, yeah. And also, I reviewed this figure or these two figures the other day, so you can check out that. Also, there will be a link at the end of the video. But, anyways, on to the rest of his accessories. This awesome lightsaber. Uh, it's got a really cool um, kind of design. As you can see, it's not usually just like the beam of color, uh, clear plastic as usual. It's kind of It kind of has a lot of texture. Let's see if we can focus on that real quick. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting. It kind of looks like a half-eaten Jolly Rancher. But anyways, he comes with two extra uh, lightsaber hilts. One of them plugs into the side. Oh, here, let me refocus. There we go. One of them does plug into the side with those two little plugs right there, so that's kind of cool. This one is, uh, I think, it's pretty much the same thing, just without those two plugs. But anyways, I guess that's just for him to hold. He does come with three sets of extra hands. The ones he has on right now are open, and then the three extras, which are these ones, which are for grasping the lightsabers. Another pair of open ones, and a pair of fist hands. Comes with two extra heads. Those are pretty... Well, I guess one extra head and then Darth Vader's mask. So that's uh, the burnt up mask from um, the Force Awakens movie that we see. And so that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that it came with that uh, when I purchased it. And then here is just his regular face. Let's see if we can focus in on it. Pretty high quality face, honestly, with the hair and everything. It looks good. But anyways refocus on the figure um yeah that's pretty much it for the accessories so here is the figure himself first of all all this cloaking uh all of his capes and whatnot that's like fabricy and um i guess they have small wires in them so you can like kind of pose them so that's kind of cool especially with the hood i like that because instead of just like coming up like a lot of star wars figures hoods you can pose it and um kind of like crease it to his face so that it looks like I mean, how it would in the movie, you know, and you can go as low as you want with that if you want to make him look like some dark B.A. Sith Lord. But anyways, so that comes down. Uh, I will say I like this figure a lot more than the C-3PO. The C-3PO is kind of cheap and flimsy, but this one feels pretty good. So anyways, his head turns, spins all the way around, uh, up and down pretty far. It is on two joints where the head connects and then where the neck connects. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of movement. All this stuff can come off if you want it to. Uh, it is Metacom, so that I wouldn't really expect anything else with their great lines. Um, that is like Velcro, so that can just stick right there. There's a stomach joint under there, so you can turn it. Um, there might be a waist joint. I'm not really sure. Everything's covered up. But anyways, under these cloaks are some more like rubber, uh, armor type stuff. Nothing, it doesn't really get in the way of his, uh, posability much, so they can go like that pretty well, out pretty well. Uh, the knees are on double joints, so they get a lot of movement there. The feet are pretty cool. They can go spin all the way around, uh, up and down just a little bit, and also the toes can move, so that's kind of cool. Uh, on the arms, gets a lot of opposability there. Um, pretty much anything you want to do with that. Double jointed at the elbows, just like the knees. Hands spin all the way around. Um, dang it. Up and down just a little bit. And I do stress just a little bit, because like you saw, it just uh, came off. It doesn't break, it just comes out of the socket. So that's really not a problem, but if you want it to stay, then they can only move a little bit. 
But anyways, that's pretty much it for this figure. It's a pretty simple figure. Um, I like it. I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, you can get it on Biz for a good price, and you can know it's authentic from there. Uh, I wouldn't mess around with eBay with the Chinese stuff because those are usually bootlegs. But anyways, check out my other videos. Please subscribe. Make sure to get it at Biz, and have a good one.